Mask shaming. You've likely seen it around town, certainly online. Now a Prairie Village Councilwoman who is a teacher in the Shawnee Mission School District is posting photos of children who are not wearing a mask. Our Abby Dodge reached out to her school and also heard from parents who say this public shaming is not right. And tonight Abby's live in Prairie Village. So Abby, these kids are outside. Are they breaking that mask mandate? Yes, Ellen, essentially they are here in Prairie Village. They follow the governor's executive order, which means if people are outside and they can't social distance, they should be wearing a mask. That includes parks just like this one. And Councilwoman Jory Nelson has something to say about it. So many parents and kids have given up. The caption on this post from the councilwoman and teacher. And I think it's a little bit disappointing to see um, a grown adult using her social media that way. I will be furious <laughs> to say that. It's a little disheartening to, to know that an adult is bullying small children. Children, many parents told me, don't completely understand the pandemic we're in. This is a new lifestyle for anyone to have to wear a mask all day, every day, no matter where you go. We called, emailed, and even knocked on the councilwoman's door to get her side of the story. No answer. She did post this caption on one of the photos. You are not keeping your kids safe, so we in turn, their teachers, will be unsafe in a few weeks. We have no business going back into buildings when this is occurring outside of school. I understand like everyone has a lot of opinions about all this and generally strong ones and but I also think that shaming children in any form is something that we know better than to do as adults. The Shawnee Mission School District where Nelson teaches sent us this statement about her posts. We do not have a specific policy related to posts for the district staff, employees, for times when school is not in session, when they are not using school equipment, and when the individuals being impacted are not specifically identified as Shawnee Mission School District students. Parents we talk to say everyone needs to practice grace. I would say they probably need to be a little bit more pragmatic about the situation and just understand that, you know, they're small children that don't understand what's going on. Just a few minutes ago, while we were waiting out here at this park, we actually saw Nelson on a walk with her dog and we asked her to talk to us about the post, but she didn't want to speak with us. We also reached out to the city of Prairie Village to get a comment, and they said that they do not comment on the personal opinions of council members. Live in Prairie Village, Abby Dodge, Casey, TV5 News. Yeah, good job trying to get a comment. Thank you, Abby.